Now let's see about how can integrate the Excel with SAP Audata. So integration mesh here, what we can do, and we can call directly the entity set details into the Excel file. Like till now, after creation of Audata service, so within the testing is the gateway client by passing the entity sets and you can see the result in the output. And we also seen how we can test that get method that calling the entity set into the postman system. Now, along with postman and the gateway system, we'll also see how we can directly integrate the SAP OIDA service with the Excel. So what are the steps are once we open our Excel file? So at the top, we have to click in the data. Then we have to click on get data. And from the more options, we can select from other sources. And then we have to click on from Audita feed. On the next screen here, we have to provide the Audita service URL and we have to enter till the service name only, not the entity sets. Once we enter these details on the next screen, in the basic option, we have to enter the login credential, that is the user ID and password and click on connect. After that, based on the Audita service, system will display all the entity sets which are available inside that Audita service. And we have to select the one for which we want to load the data into Excel. Select the old, uh, select the entity sets and click on load. Once we click on load, we can directly see the output data of that entity set into the Excel file. And let's see all these steps after logging to our SAP system and going to the Excel file. So in the SAP, as we have done all our testing on this ZK Oleta 1, so here in the DPC extension class, I have this entity set, which is selecting data from the table Z O V B A K, and that table contain here 31 records. Now open Excel file, SAP all data to Excel. Go to data, get data from other source and click on from all data feed. Here we need to enter, enter the service URL no, without entity set, only till this point that is our all data service. Click on OK button. Here next click on basic and we need to provide our login credential through which we can log into SAP system. Click on connect. I think my password is long. Let me enter my right password. Now let's click on connect. This time it is working. So once the connection is proper, system will display all the entity sets. Now here I can see two entity sets. So let's cross check the same with our SEGW. In SEGW, under this ZK Olda service, we can see in the data model, we have two entity set. One is the header set M and header set. The same we can see in the Excel file. Select the one for which we want to load the data. So as soon as select the entity set, I can directly see the data here. Click on load. Great. So you can see directly all the data from that table inside the Excel file. 32 is showing because first one is the header one. That is the field name. So you can directly see all the records from our table into the Excel file without even logging to SAP system. Here 31 records are there. The last one is ending with 00719. Let's touch it with that 00719. Click on save button. Now here we'll uh, see one more thing. That is the auto refresh. What is meaning of that? Go to data. As of now here 31 records are there. Click on all refresh. Go to connection properties. Click on refresh data when opening the file, select this checkbox, click OK, save and close the file. 
Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create one more record into this table. I'm creating this manually and I'm changing here let's say it is instead of 10 0, 7 it is let's say 0, 9 and uh, 55 I think any name here I'm giving the date as 0, 9 I'm changing the quantity to let's say 355 and okay as yes, with Excel Changes all data test with Excel. Click on save, go back. Now, this time you can see there are 32 records. Okay, now as I already done the setting in that Excel file, like load data when I'm opening the file. So, as soon as I open the file. Enable content. So as soon as I done the enable content file, so this time we can see the new added record. We can see it at the last. All the test with Excel. This is the advantage, and the scenario like suppose it is most. Uh, this can be very really useful for the employees who are mostly working on the MIS report. The job is to fetch the data from SAP, then they take that data into the Excel file and they perform a lot of operations. So it is very easy. It is very useful for the MIS person or any other purpose in case we want to directly load the data from the OITA service into the Excel file and we have also seen very good feature like auto refresh so whatever any new records are there so without going to SAP just open our Excel file we can see all the records in the Excel file so in this simple way we have learned about how we can do the integration of SAP OITA service with the Excel file Thank you.